I can show you what a structural engineer actually does. All right, so I just finished the inspection. I took some measurements. It took me probably around 30 minutes to finish. I had a chat with the owner as well. She said that the house floor was uneven and sloping when they bought the house and the walls were cracking. So that tells me that the soil might be some sort of reactive clay. I'll keep that in mind when designing the footings. On a side note, I think this pre-design inspection came in handy today because I can show you what a structural engineer actually does, right? Last week, I had a chat with a young bloke who had just finished uni and he was very excited to start working and designing high rises and big buildings, according to him. I loved his energy, right? It was, it was very cool to talk to him, but I also wanted to show him the not so glamorous jobs that engineers have to do. For example, today's job is a small column removal and designing a beam. It's a pretty simple job. You will also have to write reports. Not many people like writing them, but it's part of our job. You will have to review shop drawings, which is not a very exciting task. You might be engaged to carry out forensic inspections. So you have to go to buildings that are moving or cracking, and then you need to figure out the reasons behind it and come up with solutions. Then you have to write a report that no engineers can understand. Personally, I like this part. I kind of feel like I'm a Sherlock Holmes, you know, it's a sort of detective work and I enjoy. Also in the beginning, you will probably design some small structures or maybe parts of larger buildings. Anyway, it's, it's fun most of the time. I think it's worth it, it's a great job. But in this video, I just wanna show you everything, pretty much like all sorts of jobs that you might encounter when working as a structural engineer. Anyway, let's head back to the office and I'll see you soon.
拜拜。